The Nigerian movie industry continues to grow and it is gradually adopting global best practices, amongst which is the issue of royalty payment for use and improved actors and crew welfare concerning add-ons and equity. Our next report takes a look at how prepared the industry is to regularizing actors, crews and producer relationships. Take a look. Nollywood stars dazzle with glitz and glamour at red carpet events, showing enviable styles and fashion that correlates to their stardom. This glitz and glam that surrounds the industry, which has been jointly credited alongside the other realms of entertainment for improving the growth of the country's GDP, however belies its true financial state. We don't earn top dollar in this industry. What we are working for is the reckoning, the acknowledgments, and the awards, and the pats on the back. We don't earn top dollar. So I don't see where, you know, we're working because we love what we're doing. And yeah, we're working for, rec for recognition and reckoning. Uh, the money, money always comes, you know, but, but, but if we're working for money, then where's the money really? Because most films from the industry are low-budget flicks, these actors are usually contracted for wages that are lower than what their celebrity status command. Plus, they are usually contracted on a one-off payment model, usually without any opportunity to earn add-on, based on how successful the movie eventually goes. This means an actor can be paid stipend to appear in a movie that eventually grosses multiple of its initial budget and will still not be able to earn more from the huge success of the movie. Osu KJ, a raving actor that has appeared in many recent movies, say producers shy away from giving actors contracts that enable them to inherit certain equity based on the success of the movie. He mimics the responses he gets from them whenever he demands for such. We know they do this one for calm down. Well, you know what? Let's think about it. Oh, let's talk about it. So sometimes it sounds like you're being difficult. Movie producer Charles Novia say the way the industry is structured, plus the projected profit margin by producers, make producers weary of going into add-on agreement with actors and other crew members. If I shoot a movie, if I spend 20 million naira in my movie and I make 100 million naira, then there's what I would call a gratis royalty. Where I call the cast and the crew and say, you know what? I'm giving you guys 30% extra of your money because I'm, I know that I've made more than a thousand percent profit, you know, on what I've spent. Um, so royalties can come in various forms. Um, the structured form you're talking about now um, is what I, I think maybe, that's why I keep on saying, give it like four or five years, it will happen. But any actor or any person who is asking for royalties right now within the structures, in, which are not really in place, but which are just developing. It's not, uh, it's not a feasible uh, expectation. The newly formed Audiovisual Rights Society of Nigeria, which is tasked with collecting royalties from institutions that exploit some of these content, like hotels and bars, however promises to protect the interest of the actors. EVRS is a, a society that takes care of not just filmmakers, but right owners across board. Even as an actor, you are protected. Even as an actor, the person who employed you, based on the statutes we have now, you have a percentage of residuals that are going to come to you. As it stands, Nollywood continues to grow at an impressive rate, and it is only a matter of time before practitioners begin to demand aggressively for some of the best practices in the industry. When a man regarded as grand patron of the entertainment industry passes away, it should be no surprise that entertainers will visit his home in large numbers to pay their last respects. Top-notch entertainers did just this following the death of business mogul Molade Okoya Thomas. Let's take a look. Top entertainers including Two-Face Idibia, and Kenny's music singer turned politician, Kenny Saint Best, joined friends and associates of the Molade Okoya Thomas to pay a condolence visit to the family of the late business mogul. 
The entertainers joined other prominent Nigerians to pay tribute to the man they said was a perfect role model for young Nigerians. These are people that we, young people, should emulate. These are philanthropists, these are legitimate businessmen, legitimate rich men that really didn't have anything to do with the government. He was such a very, he was a huge, should I say teddy bear or, you know, he was such a soft person, you know. Um, um, he, he, he was an industrious person and you would think that he would be one harsh man, one boy. he was such a soft person, you know. And um, I mean, I don't know, I'm short of words right now, you know, but I, I, just, I just wish the family the strength to bear the loss and, and I know he's resting in peace now, so. Other prominent Nigerians also described him as a perfect gentleman. He was never old, not by look, but in his mind, in his attitude, and, you know, the way he carried himself, he was never old. He was a sports enthusiast, he was a music enthusiast, he was everything to do about life, you know, and he was a very, very civilized man. One of the few, he's like a dinosaur, he's gone. One of, one of the very few gentlemen, civilized, exposed men that Nigeria ever produced. I don't think we have anybody like him anymore. Prince Molade Alexander Okoye Thomas was born in Lagos and was a recipient of many achievement awards. Headlining our new music segment this week is Fuji music star Alao Malaika, who in the spirit of the forthcoming general elections has released a new track to preach against violence. He joins a list of entertainers that have lent their voices to a peaceful electionary process. Let's take a look. Fuji music star Alao Malaika has been lighting up many halls with dance songs from his rich repertoire. Typical to the kind of music he plays, his songs are always heavy with percussion and rhythmic call and response lines that provoke dance easily. His new track, Stop the Violence, however, takes a detour from his other songs. Not only did it not follow his usual Fuji theme, it advocates peace. Uh, I, I watch what is going on out there, especially in our country. You know, uh, riots here and there, kidnapping, and I think, I now said, what can I do? What can we do? I am not a, 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 broker, a broadcaster that can go on TV, start preaching to them. Even everybody, everyone says no. Say no to violence. Say no to violence. Okay, let me, let me use my area, my own side, to say something. I know one or two people will listen to this, and they may change if they are rioters. With the 2015 general elections just around the corner, Malaika joins the growing lists of artists calling for free, fair and violence-free polls on Valentine's Day. Teaming up with him on this track is another rave of the moment, Orisha Femi. <laughs> When I was doing this, it was just like, uh, I would say, unknowingly, we share for me, we do talk. So it called that, that, I want, that I wanted want me to come so for a show that I, like, it's packing in a show that you want me there to come down there. And I said to him that, ah, okay, I will come. But at the moment, I'm even working on his song, Stop the Violence. And I said, ah, so he said Fuji music. I said, oh, hip hop, and I said, hip hop style. I said, ah, let's do it together. So, he's a friend, and I'm happy working with him. 
Other artists who have lent their voices to the cause of promoting violence-free elections include Two Face in Vote Not Fight and Righteous Man in the song No. The poor people living in fear, no, this is a serious matter. The Lagos premiere of the Martin Luther King Jr. biopic, Selma, is slated to hold on February 8th with a homecoming for Nigerian Hollywood stars David Oyelowo and Carmen Ejogo. The movie Selma is co-produced by Oprah Winfrey, who also starred in the film. In Nollywood, friends, family and fans gathered in Lagos for a candlelight procession in honor of late Munachi Obiekwe, whose sudden death gave the industry a big shock. On the music scene, Dibanjil has kicked off the celebration of his 10th year in the music industry with a party, which was attended by American TV star Amber Rose. Several Nigerian artists, including Banky W. Praise, Lamy Phillips, Shady, Whiskid, David O, Fino, Sheishe, were spotted at the event. However, the absence of Don Jazzy and other pioneering label mates was glaring. Music producer and DJ Lalo is set for the international premiere of the visual interpretation of his single, Keys to My Bima, featuring award-winning reggae artist Sato Rankin. The video, which was shot in Lagos by Mad Max, will air on February 5th. Superstar David Doe has released his first video for the year 2015 titled The Sound. The 3 minute 47 second video features South African stars Uhuru and DJ Box and was shot in Dubai by Shesson. In the spirit of love and not forgetting that Valentine's Day is just a few days away, Lawyer Ton Singer Falls has released another hilarious song titled Hello Bay. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Entertainment News on Channel Television. Several days after she was discovered unconscious in a bathtub, Bobby Christina, the daughter of singers Bobby Brown and late Whitney Houston, remains on live support at an Atlanta hospital. And Timmy News brings you updates on the 21-year-old's condition. Bobby Christina Brown, the only daughter of late pop star Whitney Houston and singer Bobby Brown, was found unresponsive in a bathtub at her Georgia home on Saturday, January 31st. The incident came nearly three years after Houston, a superstar who battled substance abuse, drowned in a bathtub in Beverly Hills, California in February 2012. The authorities have said that cocaine use and heart disease contributed to her death. Houston, whose dozens of hit songs include How Will I Know and I will always love you, was the daughter of gospel singer C.C. Houston and a cousin of pop singer Dion Roy. Bobby Christina Brown's father, Bobby Brown, is a Grammy Award winner who started his career as frontman for the R&B group, New Edition. Both of Bobby Christina's parents struggled with substance abuse, and Houston described their 15-year marriage, which ended in 2007, as drug and alcohol fueled. Bobby Brown was sentenced to 55 days in jail in 2013 after admitting to driving drunk in 2012. Following her mother's death, Bobby Christina Brown was hospitalized twice with anxiety. She and her grandmother, Cece Houston, and other relatives starred in a 14-episode reality show for cable channel Lifetime, The Houstons on Our Own, about his struggle to cope after Houston's death. Brown's Twitter feed over the past year include motivations to work out, quotes from celebrities on being true to oneself, 
loving messages for her husband and remembrance of her mother. It's a wrap on this edition of Entertainment News, but the fun doesn't stop. So hurry now and head to ChannelsTV.com for more stories and videos. I am Mayawa Ogundele. Until I see you next time, be good.